Let's go for something different that's smaller. We'll do some masks. Okay, so these are all dry. Let's say I'm not going to fold anything dry. Got these, got five made up that are, um, have been in soda ash for at least 20 minutes. And then they were spun in the washing machine until they're just damp. There's not much here to work with, and these are actually the larger ones, the ones that actually cover, well, I have a large nose, so it actually covers from my nose to um, just under my chin, so these are the larger size. So there's a little bit more to work with on here than normal. You can go ahead and fold these up in, I don't know, hopefully five different ways. So we're just doing this as something a bit different, and then we'll go dye these. So let's get started on the folding. And this is here simply for the camera to have something to focus on. All right, this one is going to be, I'll, I'll go a little, I'll do a little detail, I guess, on these. This is going to be one of the alien spines. Let's see if I can zoom in a little more. Uh, alien exoskeleton, whatever it was that I called it. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I've actually fiddled with it a little bit. And now these are three ply, so there's a fair bit of fabric in here that I'm having to work with to do these folds. I'm not sure about this. These came in yesterday and I have made no attempt to practice on this stuff before doing these videos. So we shall see. Hmm. I have a feeling this kind of stuff is not going to work well with my hands. Uh, let's see what we can do. I don't think I can do an angle on this, so it's just going to be that straight version of the alien spine or alien, alien exoskeleton. So, where is it? That's all I've got right there. It was folded half and then folded half again. And we're just going to do some rubber bands on this. That. And we'll set that one off to the side. All right, for the next one, let's see, what can we do? All right, hold that in half. Let's see if we can't do one of the, let's see, what if we do this? this, fold the entire thing back, and fold the entire thing back again, and we've got that on one side, and that on the other. We've got that, it's number two. I'd like to try to do a spiral, but I, I did kind of fiddle with that before I started. And I am not sure if that's even remotely possible on something this small. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to keep this in the camera field since it's shrunk down a lot. camera. There we go. That's not horrible. All right, let's go ahead and touch this up. Not bad at all. All right. Let's see if I can 
push that down a little. Let's see if I can touch that up. I don't think I can touch that up any. That's really thick. Great. That's three. Two more. Looks like it's about a little over six. Let's just kind of offset this so that it is six. Um, mark every inch or so. All right. If I was going to fold it in half, I probably shouldn't have wasted my time doing that. Let's do that again. So I didn't think I had. And if you're wondering where these masks came from, they came from Jiffy Shirts, the same as um, pretty much everything else that I order. Alright, so I'm just going to This is an accordion. It's a pretty steep angle. All right, do that. third one. Our fourth one. Hey, I'm almost done. And the last one. Actually, okay, we'll do this and we'll just do an accordion up here. And we'll treat this like the, um, uh, what was that thing named? That spinal cord thing I did a long time ago. Yeah, I can't think of the name of it. It was one of the first ones that I published, though. Now that one's supposed to be done with sinew, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get it tight enough. Let's go ahead and do sinew on this one. find the scissors because of other projects. Alright, I will... I guess it doesn't matter which side is up on this. Where is it? There we go. I'll just put a little extra rubber band here at the back. Just kind of keep this in check. And again, I'm just letting those dangle. And that should... Eh, I'll go ahead and drop one on there. Let's do a thin one just to make sure that stays together. Alrighty. So five, four, three, two, and one. There's no way I'm gonna keep these in order during this process, um, but if you've seen these designs before, you'll be able to pick out which resulted in what. So, off to die. All right. I've got these laid out. These two, which is the um, paper airplane fold thing, and the alien exoskeleton are going to be at an angle, and they're about they're raised at about six inch angle. These are all going to be ice dyed flat. And yeah, I'm planning on ice dyeing all these. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to flip any of these or it's all one sided. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, might make some changes as I go along. Like this one might be a muck die. I'm not sure. Anyway, I've got a cheat sheet with colors, um, kind of. For the alien, I'm going with cerulean blue, um, Cayman Isle green, and the new emerald green. 
for the airplane fold, I am going with turquoise, grape, and fire red. All right, for the spiral, I am going with daffodil, cerulean, and fire red. For the spine, which I still can't think what I named that thing. I'll maybe put it on the screen here. I'm going with, oh, forgot one. All right, going with black. Let's see, fire red, deep orange, um, daffodil, and either cerulean blue or turquoise, I'm not sure which. And this last one, which I don't have a name for because I can't think of when I last did that one, um, some variation of a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, which is probably going to be fire red. Well, that just wasn't good. Deep orange, daffodil, new emerald green, and probably cerulean. Let's see if I can fix this. I'd much rather that happen now than after things are died. All right, that wasn't as pleasant as you would think. This one I did change. Uh, I said red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and I think I did red, yellow, green, cerulean, and grape or something. Anyway, uh, I changed it because I decided to do a sawtooth instead of just uh, an angle. This one I did go ahead and put aluminum foil under it so that it sits in um, its own muck after it melts through. Um, the rest are just going to be uh, melting through and we'll see what happens. Alright, it's been over 24 hours. Let's do the wash out on these. Okay, let's do a quick look at these before I throw them in the washing machine. So far I'm not really impressed with the results, but I'll go throw them in the wash. We'll see how they turn out. All right, so here's the results. Let's see if I can figure out. Um, 
that was the alien exoskeleton spine, whatever I call it. Here's the spiral. Oh, these are backwards. Or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like that. Um, let's see. This is the... Um, can't remember. It's that spine thing that's really old. The old video. It's like two years old out there. Um, this is, I think, the airplane thing. And I honestly have no clue what this is. So, I wasn't happy with these. You know, call me picky or whatever, but it, it doesn't match the detail that are normally in the designs that I do. And the spiral isn't bad, I guess. So I did it again. And I primarily focused on that alien exoskeleton thing. There's one. There's two. There's three. What's I'll push that up a little. What's interesting about these, I actually tied all these and put them all in the same um, little piece of cardboard so that they were all dyed at the exact same time. Yeah, you see the issue too. If they were all dyed at the same time, why are they nothing alike? I mean, it's almost like no cerulean got there. It, it's just a white spot at the top, so I'm not happy with these either. So. I also did two others that were tied basically the same. You have that, and this is the result. And these were a sawtooth. Oh, that's upside down. These were a sawtooth across the two. I'll try to do a picture. I just took a single picture with the cell phone of how they were being dyed. Um, so there's the results of that. I don't know. That has a face in it, eyes and mouth and nose, or nose up here. Whatever. Um, so I don't know. Okay, I know. I couldn't let it go. I did some more. And I didn't want to do separate videos for these. It's just not worth it, I don't think. So I went ahead and did some more. And here we go. So, black and yellow spiral. And this was as an ice dye. And there's the results of that. This is a liquid dye. The thickened liquid. There we go. I actually like this. And this was just you know, an accordion, and then you come through and, well, let's say, be like that, and that, and that. You get the idea. Okay? With every other spot. Uh, it's the same pattern as this, actually. This just didn't fare as well. And it's that water drop, and I'll reference it in the description below. So, this is that water drop, I think it is. A video that has almost a million views, which is incredible to be quite honest. Um, so, like that's the peak, that's the peak, that's the peak. You see how it was folded, and then it was just rubber banded along the way. I might have a picture that I can drop out to. Um, it didn't soak in very far. I mean, that dye is thick on here, but it still looks pretty cool, actually. I mean, my 14-year-old wants this one now because of what it looks like. All right, let's see. This is another spiral attempt. This is a combination of ice and liquid dye. And uh, I don't think that one turned out all that well. And then we have this, which is one of those um, peacock ray things. It's folded from the corner like that um, in rainbow. Oh, it's so hard to just hold it up here like that. So this I like. Oh, there we go. This I like. Um, this works out pretty good since it is the same one of this. So I know it can be done. I just either made it too thick or I just didn't put enough on. Um, the spirals are beginning to turn out. You just have to kind of fiddle with them. So I have a more positive attitude about doing these now. They do look better. Um, they're out on Etsy for the ones that I've made. Um, feel free and leave your comments below. As always, thanks for watching. So what are your thoughts and opinions? I know there's going to be some of those comments of I'm just being picky, but it doesn't really fit what my stuff normally looks like. So until next time, thanks for watching.